up guys, this is Drino Beats. In this video, we're gonna go over how Bluffin' by Gucci Mane featuring Lil Baby was made in FL Studio. All right, so always credit where it is due. This beat was made by four producers. You got Cutter, cut that shit up. LMC, Daya, and Prod by Square. This beat was crazy, man. It's way more complicated than it seems, but it was really fun to remake this. So here's another little snippet. We'll get right into the deconstruction. So just to orient yourself, you got vocal samples, pianos, strings, a synth, orchestra hits, tubular bells, and the rest are going to be your drums, and you'll notice a halftime automation clip here on the bottom. For the pianos, I'm not sure the exact plugin or preset they used, I just use Nexus Arena Ambience, as well as layering a few other pianos in Purity. As far as effects, just gave it a bunch of reverb, added a little wider, and played with some of the frequencies. On to the strings for this, using Purity again, just layering a few like violin synth strings together. For effects, just some reverb, delay, and play with the frequencies a bit too. All right, next you got this orchestra hit coming in. You can find this in a lot of older trap drum kits just following the root notes. And a cool little effect here, what they did, there's a tubular bell that comes in every uh, eight bars or so, just using one from a trap drum kit. We're gonna take that, play these notes, and also throw on gross beat, the half beat gate. And together all of our melodies, hits and the vocal sample, The bell is cool, man. I love the gross beat effect. As far as the drums go, you can find a lot of these sounds in just regular trap drum kits. So just a heads up, we have two snare patterns to go through and four 808 patterns. But we'll just start with this beginning section. Here are the drums. Cool, so starting off, just have a simple wheezy clap. We have a south side or TM-88 snare. For the hi-hats, I just use one called the uh, Closed 5 Titan Wide. All right, these are really subtle, but I like what they did here. Uh, using a separate hi-hat, the Cymatics Out of Here hi-hat, we got some uh, lower playing hi-hat notes towards the end. And in case you want to hear that just by itself, if you listen closely, you can't hear it. It's really dope what they did. All right, and for our first 808 pattern, we are using the Spins 808. I put a soft clipper on and played a little bit, just making the frequencies on the lower end of the scale hit a bit harder. And everything in the first section. Cool, let's move on here. We got a few more sounds coming in. For melodies, we are using a synth in Silent One called the LD Virus Pulse. Otherwise, in this section, the tubular bell gross beat comes out and we have a few different drum patterns coming in. We also have this open hi-hat Next, we have our second and final snare pattern using the same south side TM-88 snare. It's mostly just the end. Zoom in a little bit too. This is a really cool snare roll. It seems simple, but I really like it. And our second spins 808 pattern. The ending is really cool, guys. And at the end, they go up an octave. That's why it sounds really cool. All right, that does it for this section. Couple more to go. So 
but we got the strings coming back in. The clap pattern, interestingly enough, changes just a little bit. Third 808 pattern, we just don't have the crazy upper octave notes here. Alright, and for this last section before the beat repeats entirely, we just have the pianos coming in, the orchestra hits, and our final 808 pattern. And as far as arrangement, this whole thing basically repeats itself here as well as here. And here's the transition before we got one more thing to cover. They had a halftime automation clip towards the end of the beat. So right when it starts with these last two sections, you'll notice the halftime starts kicking in. All right, and I think that does it for this Deconstructed, guys. Really cool beat, really unique, and a lot of great drum patterns that changed up a lot so that it doesn't sound too repetitive. If you like this, you learned something, you know what to do. Till then, I guess I'll catch you all in the next video.